In today's video, man, we are reviewing the WWE Ultimate Edition Coliseum Collection Series Number 3 Rowdy Roddy Piper and George the Animal Steel Set. Now, the set is going to be available for pre-order on December 7th, which is going to be on Thursday, and I do believe it's going to be at 9 p.m. Pacific. Not 9 p.m. Pacific, you dumb idiot. 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Yes, this set is going to go up for pre-order on MattelCreations.com, man, if you guys want to go grab that set. Now, of course, this is Series 3, like we talked about Series 4 is actually not too, too far away, and I do believe it is Bret Hart and Jim the Anvil, and it should be a really nice set as well. But I do want to give a huge shout-out to Mattel for making this review possible, sending out this set our way to review it for you guys so you guys can have an in-hand look at it before it does go up for pre-order. If you guys want to grab this thing again, it is going up for sale on Thursday, December 7th, 2023 at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Not p.m., it's a.m. Get that through your head. But of course, we do have our Coliseum Collection packaging right here. You have Hot Rod Rod. Piper right there. On the other side, you have Ultimate Edition. On this side, you have George the Animal Steel eating the turnbuckle pad. Yeah. And on this side, you do get a nice art form shot of both the, the characters there and then the WWE logo. And then at the top, it does say, just when they think they got the answers, I changed the questions, of course. And this did come in its own shipper box, which is similar to the uh, the Cody Rhodes one that we got. They had, like, some, like, you know, like, the different lines. It's like the Mattel Creation shipper box. But I do want to remove the contents from this box. So you know what's awesome about this specific packaging is it almost opens up like a book. As you guys can see, you have Roddy Piper's name, George the Animal Steel, and then you open it up like like this and you do have like kind of a story book opening and then you do have the figures packaged inside right here so there's Roddy Piper then it comes with a nice divider and then here is George the Animal Steel on the inside right here I've enjoyed the Coliseum collection a lot I, I think they've done a really excellent job on these so far now if we look at the back of the packaging you can see all three series so far you have series one with Hogan and Funk you have series two with Jake the Snake and Rick Rude and then we have series three with Roddy Piper and George the Animal Steel and again Jim the Anvil Neidhart and Bret Hart are in the next set which I have no idea when that's going up, but between all the delays and all the different stuff, man, I am very happy to finally have Roddy Piper in my Ultimate Edition collection. He was on my wish list for a very long time, and we actually did our updated wish list the other day, not including CM Punk, so I am happy to finally have Roddy Piper right here, and then we get a bonus little George the Animal Steel football figure over here, and of course, we do have another Roddy Piper coming soon in the Monday Night War set, but you guys know how this packaging looks. I'm going to back it up a little bit and clean it up. So here's just sort of a 360 shot of the packaging for each individual figure. So you have Roddy Piper here. They're pretty much the exact same though. You know, you have the removable background of the figure and then you have the accessory store beneath the figure, which we'll take a look at in just a second. But I'm really liking the Men on Cards set. I don't know. A lot of people like to do the box thing, you know, just showcase the boxes of the Ultimate Editions. But I don't know if there are, are there any people out there that take these things out, how they are packaged here individually and put those up on the wall too. I don't know. I'd like to see people do that. I know there's not really a spot for it, but I don't know if people have just pinned it up there anyway or maybe they, you know, just sit them on the shelf like this. I don't know. I, I know that there's different strokes for different folks. You know, you like to do things different ways in your own collection and what have you, but uh, nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and dive into both of these figures, crack them out of their packaging, and find out what George the Animal Steel and Roddy Roddy Piper are all about. So here's our Coliseum collection out of the packaging. Rowdy, Roddy Piper, and George the Animal Steelman. Had a lot of fun so far posing these guys around, getting to know them a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That kind of sounds a little bit weird, but you know what I mean. I, I posed them around like we always do here in the reviews, but I'm pretty impressed with the pack so far. I'm having a lot of fun with them and, you know, getting into their accessories and things like that. Now, now if you guys were unaware, the Coliseum collection is actually supposed to be based on the original LJN forms of these figures. So like the George the Animal Steel figure and the Roddy Piper, which is why the Roddy Piper actually has no red piping on his shirt because the old LJN Roddy Piper actually had the same white tee, so they wanted to make it as close to the original design as possible, which is a little weird just because they don't do that across the entire board, so like maybe the pattern and like the shirt are kind of similar, but I'm pretty sure the George Animal still had red knee pads, and I think the Roddy Piper had like red socks or something or something like that, something like that, so it's not completely across the board, so I don't know, you know, I guess it's not all the way the same, but nonetheless, you you know, uh, we're going to dive into all the different things, man. I'd be lying if I didn't say I was beside myself because we finally have a Roddy Piper Ultimate, but I am anxiously waiting that Toy Biz version of the WCW Roddy Roddy Piper, but this is still going to be an epic set. Can't wait to dive into it, man. What we're going to do is dive into George the Animal Steel's accessories and George the Animal Steel, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Roddy Piper's accessories and Roddy Piper. So getting into George the Animal Steel's accessories, man, you get a, quite a bit, man. I mean, this is an Ultimate Edition. It is an Ultimate Edition 2-pack, so you do get quite the, quite the stuff here now. 
Now, you don't get the championship, right? So the baseline is usually three interchangeable heads, cloth goods, and a championship. However, they do make up for a championship with both of these guys, I think. And I don't really think they needed a championship. It's just the baseline we use for Ultimate Editions. I'll start at first. We do have this first head sculpt here with the tongue out. He does have his signature green tongue in there. And apparently I read where, apparently that wasn't going to be part of his get up. But then he, he like ate some mint gum or something on the way to the ring. And then he ended up having a green tongue. And to keep kayfabe and keep that going, he had to keep doing it over and over again. But I could be wrong about that. But there's the first one. I like it. He's kind of looking off to the right, which I like. Then we have this one where he's just kind of yelling straight forward, which I like also. I think they give me a real like curly from Three Stooges type vibe to him, to be honest with you. And then the last one, we have kind of this like goofy off to the left looking head sculpt, which I think is crazy because all three of these give off such a lifelike look to them. I mean, like I look, I feel like I'm in a museum almost with how much these look alike, you know, like just the likeness and the realism that they capture, especially this one on the right. But I like all three of these head sculpts, you know, I think they capture that, that real George the Animal Steel character. Now for his cloth goods, technically you get two things of cloth goods, but the thing that he can actually wear is going to be the black and red shirt. Now I do like the lining of the shirt, so Roddy Piper doesn't get the lining on his shirt, but George the Animal still gets his, but it's the black tee with the red lining, and it does have Velcro on it, but this is very nice. Very quality shirt. Feels good on the figure. You guys will see what it looks like on the figure at a later date in this video, so you will see that, but this, this is a very quality shirt as well, always, and you know, never going to complain about cloth goods. Now we also get his stuffed animal mine right here, which is very cool. I think it looks just like the character as far as I'm concerned, but one thing that's weird is I'm pretty sure his wristband right here is supposed to have mine written on it, like in black lettering. It's supposed to say M-I-N-E if I'm not mistaken, and it's not there, so I don't know if Mattel's never put that on there, if it's been on previous versions of the, of the you know, the stuffed animal or whatnot, but it looks good. You know, it's got the balding spot on the top, it's got the tummy on there. Uh, these are actually uh, plugged in here, and they can articulate, so that's really awesome. I think this is a great accessory. He can hold it well, it's sculpted well, it has a nice heft to it. It's, it's quality. Great job by Mattel here, but we do get the mine stuffed animal, and we also get the stuffed, or the stuffing coming out of this turnbuckle pad, which is cool because it actually even has it where you can clasp this together if you wanted to, and you could put this on your new generation ring that we got with our crowdfunder last year. So this is really awesome, and it's got the you know the cotton like coming out there, like he's chewing on the turnbuckle pad, like shredding it, which is so cool, man. What a what a unique thing there. So you could put this on your Ultimate Edition ring if you wanted to. So that's really awesome. But yeah, very unique accessory. This came in its own like little bag in the accessory compartment, but this is a nice accessory as well for the George the Animal Steel very unique. Outside of that, for its interchangeable hands, you do get the world going around mic holding hands. You get the Finn Balor style or the John Cena you can't see me style hands with the flat fives or the high fives. And then something I think is awesome. It's it's kind of like burger eating hands, but we did get this with our Cameron Grimes figure and our Ted DiBiase's where they can hold the money. That's what these hands are, but I'm pretty sure it's for like holding the turnbuckle pad like you're eating it like a burger or, uh, you know, holding the mind stuffed animal or whatever the hell you want to do there. But yeah, you also get these hands, which I also like. All right, man, so getting into George the Animal Steel, starting out the head sculpt. Now, we already took a, a close look at the head sculpt, so we don't need to spend a lot of time on it, but what we do like to do is see how the ratio fits to the neck or how the portions go with the neck to the head to the torso, and I think this one looks good, so that's that's the thing that matters. Now, one thing that's awesome about George the Animal Steel is he has all of this body hair going on. Now, I, I don't think we're going to have a jack situation or anything where we have real fur or anything going on in the body, but that would be really unique, but I'm pretty sure this is a brand new torso, if I'm not mistaken. Mistaken. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think that is the case. I do believe this is brand new, but he does have the butterfly joints in there, and he has all of his hair going all over his body, which I think is so unique. I'm sure there's somebody out there that you know from your family or something that's just super hairy like this, man. I, I swear, like, everybody has that in their family, but just ridiculous body hair on this guy. But one thing I will say is I wish that it continued on the hands. It would be cool to see that, because usually people that uh, have body hair like this, usually their hands also have a lot of hair on it, so you guys can see that it kind of like stops to a point which is, I don't know, it's not the biggest deal, it's just something I wanted to mention, but the uh, the body hair is super crazy, and then he does have the black tights with the red stripes going down, and again, on that original figure, he had red knee pads, so I don't know if they just got away from that, or if they didn't want to do that, but the red and white boots are also clean, but he does have the Ultimate Edition boots and stuff, but yeah, pretty clean looking George the Animal football steel. So for this George the Animal steel, you know, he's just a regular ball joint right here, but uh, the ab crunch isn't like horrific, but he does get a lot of diaphragm movement right here, and he does have the butterfly joint. If you guys want to, you know, get that across right there, you can absolutely do that. Reach that back across there. So, I don't think you're going to be limited. Anything you want to be able to do with the George the Animal Steel, I think you're going to be able to do that. I don't think you're going to have any issues with it.
with it. He does have the drop down hips, you know, which people have a love hate relationship. I feel like upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, not pinless, so it's not super tight, which does uh, annoy me sometimes. But uh, yeah, mine's a little bit bow legged out of the packaging. Yours might have that as well. So if that is the case, you can heat the legs up. You see how bow legged mine is. Can heat that up with a hair dryer and then hold it in the position you want and then run it under cold water and it will fix that. I just didn't do it before I dove into the review, but I probably will be doing that off camera. But I don't really have a figure to compare this with because I don't have any of the previous Georgie Animal Steels. All of mine uh, never had an opportunity to own them, so this is my first one. But yeah, now we can dive into Roddy Roddy Piper. So getting into Roddy Piper's accessories of the Ultimate Edition 2-Pack Coliseum Collection, man, you get quite a bit here, and it's just like Georgie Animal Steel in which we get a lot of stuff going on with it, which I like. I'm going to start things off with the head sculpts. I really love this head sculpt. Now, I'm pretty sure this is, if I'm not mistaken, this is damn near the exact same head sculpt we got on the boxing two-pack, like the Elite two-pack with Mr. T and Roddy Piper. It looks just like it, if not, and maybe the haircut's different or something like that, but I love this. This this expression is my favorite. I just, when I think of Roddy Piper, I think of him yelling in people's faces, and I, that makes me happy, so I like this one the most. But the smiling one is also good, and it's reminding me of, like, Johnny Bravo or something. I don't know. He's just kind of looking off to the right, like, yep, Johnny Bravo. I don't, I don't know. Don't give me, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but that's just the vibes that it's giving me, and it almost looks like my nose or my eyes are a little bit off center or something like that, but it's not too, too bad. But then our last head sculpt is going to be the smirking head sculpt, which I think has a lot of likeness as well. So you have like the teeth showing off to the right, and then you have like kind of a straight on sort of smile smirk going on right there, which I like all three head sculpts, but if I had to chalk it up to my favorite, it'd probably be the yelling one just because I like my Roddy Piper yelling, which is good. Why are you yelling? Outside of that, we also get a WWE microphone with the block logo on it. Now we have seen this before. I want to say we've seen this with like Mean Gene and a couple other people before. So it does have like a thick handle though. That silver handle right there is very thick, but yeah, I like that. I like that we get a microphone with our Roddy Piper figure. And we also get our white hot rod shirt right here, which looks very nice. Again, no red piping around the sleeves or the cuffs of the shirt, but it's still a nice accessory and I like to actually have this. So I'm glad to have another Roddy Piper, Roddy Piper version of the shirt here. And it looks good. You know, it's got the, ball, the Velcro on the back and everything and it fits the figure well. So it's really all you can ask for. And we're never going to fight about cloth goods, whether Mattel, WWE action figures. And then moving on to the kilt, which is really cool. It is the same, like very similar pattern to that original LJN figure. It's almost like kind of retro-y. It's got very like brighter colors instead of darker colors going on. It's got like greens and blues and reds in there. It looks very good, but it also has the Velcro on there and it can, you know, you, you already saw it on the figure in the intro of the video, but you know, it does Velcro in the back right there. So you can put that on the, uh, the waist wrap of the figure. And then what's cool is it does come with this belt accessory, which I don't think we've seen before. I don't think we've ever seen this specific belt. It looks to be new. It can go around the figure and then you can clasp it in the middle right there. And it has the illusion that it is a clasped belt or a looped belt, which I think is awesome. So this is a great little uh, belt accessory right there. And you could probably, I mean, you could take that out and just, you know, hit people with it, I guess, if you wanted to. But yeah, we do get the belt accessory with our Roddy Piper. But I thought that was awesome. Like this really completes the, I don't know, the, the illusion of the kilt for me. Now outside of that, we do get Mike holding hands with our Roddy Piper. We get our fisted hands to beat the hell out of people. We do get our Ricochet Kawhi Leonard handshaking entrance style hands right here, which I swear these, I feel like these come with every damn figure now, but yeah, we also get these for cutting promos, I guess, or just slapping the hell out of people. And you get pointer fingers, and you know what these are for? Pointed people and tell them to shut the hell up. So yeah, you get pointer fingers for your Roddy Piper as well. All right, man, so getting into Roddy Piper, starting off the head sculpt again, we took a closer look at those, so I don't need to spend a lot of time on it, but it does look good on the figure. And one thing that I really like about this Roddy Piper is the torso choice. Now, a long time on our Roddy Piper figures, they gave us the Daniel Bryan style torso and his elites, which we'll see in just a moment in the comparison. This looks so much more better for, for Roddy Piper, man. He, he like, the Daniel Bryan torso just doesn't need to work for anybody ever again. I, I don't like it for anybody. I think that there are much better torsos, especially for Roddy Piper as well. And this looks really good for him. I wish they would probably use this for Stone Cold as well. I just think that this torso represents Stone Stone Cold, it, re it represents, I don't know, I mean, may maybe Stone Cold could be a little bit bigger, but I feel like his first Ultimate Edition was too skinny, but that's neither here or there. You also have, like, the standard Elite arms on here, like the double-jointed arms, not anything too immaculate. White wrist tape, flat blue right here on the trunks, which is very classic, and then we do have the, like, standard Roddy Piper thighs right there with the blue knee pads. Again, you know, with the costume collection, you're not gonna get, like, some over-the-top gears or anything like that, but it is still cool to see these, you know, like, classic gears brought to life in this modern action figure form, but you have the socks coming up over the top, and then we also have the signature
signature Roddy Piper maroon style boots with the white piping, and it's looking pretty good. The white outsoles are also clean, and he's got the Ultimate Edition boots. But I don't know, man. What a what a just unit. I I just like Roddy Piper, man. I can't wait for that again for that Toy Biz S version with the WCW Monday Night Wars Ultimate Edition Walmart exclusive. That of course is coming soon. But let's get into some Roddy Piper figure comparisons. So for our first comparisons, here is the Legends Elite on the left, and then we have a, I don't know if that's the Hall of Fame Elite or the first Legends Elite. I have no idea where the hell I got that Roddy Piper. But the knee pad, like everything is the same. The gear is the exact same. Everything's the same. It's just updated here, obviously. But yeah, I mean, it is cool to see these up next to each other. But yeah, I mean, this Ultimate Edition is much better than that Elite over there. It just crushes it. It could put it in the damn, I don't even know, put it in the headlock, choke him out, man. I mean, it's not even close. But for some other figure comparisons, we have our greatest hits, John Nada Elite Roddy Piper over here. And then we do have our Boxing Elite 2 pack over here with Mr. T or our Roddy Piper. And I'm pretty sure that's the exact same head sculpt if I do say so myself. Maybe the hair color is a little bit differently. Hair color may be a bit different, but yeah, it's still cool to see these all up next to each other, man. And again, you could dress this guy up. And I have other Roddy Piper somewhere, I think. I, I don't freaking know. But yeah, this is still a kill. This is the, my favorite one in my collection to this point. And we'll have to see when that new Ultimate Edition comes out, how it compares. But this is still badass to see these up next to each other. Ah, what a classic Roddy Piper football figure. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Mattel Creations exclusive Coliseum Collection Ultimate Edition Series 3 Roddy Piper and George the Animal Steel set, man. Really appreciate Mattel sending this set out for us to review, man. I had a lot of fun with it. I think that it's a great set, and I think you should order this set, you know, especially if you've gotten the first two versions, you know, the Hulk Hogan and the uh, the, the Terry Funk figure, and then, of course, you did have Jake the Snake and Rick Rude, which I think I ranked the Jake the Snake set, the Jake the Snake and Rick Rude set, slightly above the Hulk Hogan and Terry Funk set. I can't remember off the top of my dome, but if I was ranking all three of those sets, that would be a tough one because I really like this Roddy Piper figure. Now, I've never been a big George the Animal Steel fan. However, I can appreciate this figure. I like the shirt. I love the turnbuckle pad. I think that's hilarious. I love the interchangeable goods. This is actually my first ever George the Animal Steel figure because I never found the Hall of Fame Elite and the other old school elites, so I think that is cool, but uh, it was all about the Roddy Piper for me personally, but having this figure is amazing. I love the Roddy Piper. I think it's such a stud. I think, you know, we have plenty of accessories from other Mattel elite Roddy Pipers that you can pair with this guy to really put him over the top if you don't like the all white shirt. But I am loving it shirtless, man. I mean, look at this guy right here. Look at him. He looks like a million bucks. Absolute boss. Love Roddy Piper. So this is, this is a great set. I, I am just very appreciative of Mattel and this set overall. And again, it does go for pre-order on Thursday, December 7th, 2023 at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on MattelCreations.com, so definitely lock in your pre-order when that goes up. I'm probably going to buy another set for myself as well. Now, another thing I'd like to add is that this set is just a beast, man. I, I really do like it. it it's, a, it's a great set. It's a great set overall. I had a lot of fun with it. I think that you get a lot of bang for your buck. Two Ultimate Editions, plus all these different cloth goods. Tight-knit packaging. I mean, what else could you possibly want, man? This is an absolute boss. So, you know, I'm still going to be ordering one for myself, so there is that. But, yeah, man, I really enjoy the set, and I think you should also grab it, but I think that pretty much wraps up my review, man. A huge shout out to our patron members of the MD2 YouTube channel. Always appreciate you fellas for all your continued support on the channel. Thank you guys so very much for everything that you guys do for me, but I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.